Dania, a realm steeped in humanity's myth and lore. Within the folds of Ardania's landscape dwell creatures of fantasy and of nightmare. Facing these challenges are epic heroes, some motivated by treasure and greed. Other heroes are inspired by honor and righteous ideals. And some by a genuine fear of evil's defiling touch. To overcome these dire perils, Ardania's heroes require but one thing, an inspired leader to defy the darkness. Accept Ardania's crown and forge new legends for this ancient land. All right, so that's the that's the intro to this game. Today, I'm going to be showing you the 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 story mode of Majesty, the the original. Like 2000s game? This game came out in the 2000s, right? Anyways, I'm gonna be erasing all of my victories and all the progress I've made over the years just to restart once again. So, I'll just explain with some of the. I'm gonna have to do all the easier uh, maps anyways, so I'll just explain the game mechanics as we go along and through each um, like scenario. So first, we'll start with the bell, the book, and the candle. So. Basically, well, we'll start with that soon, but I'll explain the map a little bit. So, you've got uh, quests that uh, ha that require uh, you to do all the other, like, southern quests. Or to do other specific, like, ones. Like, this one needs the Bell, the Book, and the Candle, the Forsaken Land, and Rescue the Prince. Which is this one, that one, and uh, where's Forsaken Land? Forsaken Land, right? The Forsaken Land Rescue Prince. Yeah. So, well, wherever that is. I thought it was that's Dark Forest. Anyways, I'll just start I'll just start with this one. We're gonna probably blow through these pretty fast, so. I'll let the narration do its Forgive thing. the intrusion, Highness, but we've been robbed! Someone has stolen the magic bell, the holy book, and the eternal candle! Right from under our noses, they were whisked away from the royal treasury by some scoundrel. We must do something to recover them. They are treasures beyond value. So no warriors or wizards. So basically, the, uh, the technique I'm going to be using for this one is just... Uh, Pretty much just gotta summon, get rangers, really. Let's see, I'll put this right here. Hmm. Trading post all the way out there, too. Which I'll do some research on, but um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Um... Majesty! 
the local blacksmith so offers new services. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. Majesty, guardhouse your trading post fire. now offers healing potions. Okay, the game's going at, uh, at a freak pace, but um, I'll explain on my own. Guardhouses shoot arrows, and they also uh, house guards, city guards. And guards kill monsters that wander into your town and, like, kill your peasants. Or in, uh, your Majesty, a new building is complete. When it gets upgraded, your Highness, it, uh, we've improved the guardhouse. It uh, allows you to research elite guards, which are basically just better guards. The blacksmith, uh, actually, I'll explain heroes first. This is the Rangers Guild, and Rangers like to, um, they like to venture, or they like to explore for the Sovereign, most part. So they're the treasure hunters, upgraded. kind of like the rogues are. Um, I'll explain Majesty, what's I've done. The local blacksmith offers new Guys. services. Hold your Majesty. Can I? I'm going to. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. I'll explain that in a minute. So yeah, hero, you in this game you don't control your people directly, your uh, your units. It's an RTS where you have no control other than the ability to place uh, Gold, your Majesty. bounty flags, which is stuff like explore over here for 300 gold, and then whatever makes it over there will get the gold, and then they they own that gold, so they're gonna um, they're going to be able to go and spin that. They, they, like, they have their own personal purse of gold. Like, whenever they kill a monster, they get gold. Or if they control a, a bounty. A building has been upgraded. And then, that allows them to go to the blacksmith, for instance, and get better armor and weapons. And you can upgrade the blacksmith and have up to three different tiers of weapons. Bronze, silver, and gold. And that a lot makes them stronger and tough. So they'll find monsters around, and they will shoot the- like, they'll try and kill them. With, or run away, depending on their personality. Usually, they'll try to at least kill the monster, because it gets them gold- like, especially for rogues, it gets them gold. Sovereign, this one has the candle, upgraded. it's pretty close, I'm just gonna place a bounty flag on it, get it taken care of. Let's upgrade my castle, and I will also place a- Marketplace, right there. The once my castle gets upgraded, Your Majesty, I can also a give... new building okay. is complete. So to upgrade the castle, you have to leave my gold alone. Well, I'll talk about that first. It looks like that Medusa killed one of my rogues. These uh, mini maps, well, these uh, these cameras basically cycle through. You can have them cycle through. In my uh, ambition has paid things. off. So I usually have them cy cycle through heroes because it's fun to like watch sometimes. But, yeah. Castle? No, nope, castle's not done yet. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Search those areas. Your Highness, right. the palace renovations are finished. That's not done. Get that. Your Highness, we've improved yeah, the guardhouse. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. Pick up that relic. Your Highness, the elves wish to join our prosperous kingdom. So, also, I'll explain different races. So, I have the option of inviting uh, three different types of non-human races to my, to my city, to my town. And uh, you get the choice between elves, uh, gnomes, and dwarves, and they all serve different purposes. Uh, elves are the strongest units, and they also generate a lot of money. But they also generate they also generate buildings that distract your heroes, and also siphon a bit of cash. I'm gonna just go with elves because they're kind of fun, and I don't think I can have dwarves yet. And I'll also grab one of these temples. You also get the choice between a bunch of different temples for your uh, upgraded troops as well. Here. 
so I'm going to have the Temple to Crypto, because they're my favorites. I serve with pleasure. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. The Marketplace is also another such building, like the Blacksmith, uh, where your heroes can go to spend money. And the reason Robin, you want your heroes to spend your money is because it now basically serves you better. It gives you the money that they make in the form of taxes that are collected by your tax collector. Elves play, uh, they Majesty, usually go to the local blacksmith and offers play their new gear, services. Your Majesty, which uh, a new building is complete. generates more revenue. Your Majesty, there it looks like there's the a shrine. The treasury is I think nearly it empty. The bell. Sovereign, yep. your marketplace so now place serves you better. Right away. When I get some more cash, I'm going to buy some elf. Well, I'm going to buy my other elf. An elven bungalow spawns one elf. And I'll... This will be a quick bit of gold. I'll explain each unit as I go along. So, rogues are a, little, a bit self-explanatory. They, uh, they're, they behave the way you expect a D&D rogue to, like, act. He, uh, he's kind of a coward. And, uh, he'll only really defend his home, but he'll run at the first sight of, uh, danger, basically. But he also steals gold from, like, monster layers when he's not gonna destroy them, and they're very greedy. So you can get them to do what you want for money. So, they're, they're kinda, they, they, they have the lowest threshold, I believe, for cash. They're very easily influenced, and they, like, they went over and destroyed My gold. Alone. Yeah, it looks like we got the Oculus zapping some dudes over here, but I think they'll- yeah, see, he's gonna run, Leave but he died. Gold alone. Let's see, can our, can our ranger get him? I feel revitalized. Please don't kill my ranger. Yeah, get him. Nice. We just lost a few rogues, so they're, they're worth far less than our, than our ranger. But yeah, that, that's basically rogues. They, uh, they're, they're greedy, and they're, they're the, the get some shit done for cheap hero. Now these are priestesses, of, priestesses of crypto, which are uh, like death priestesses, basically. They, they, they're necromancers. Uh, they raise skeletons periodically to use as, to use as bodyguards, and they base, they basically act like sort of like police before you get, like, the actual police unit. But, um, she can, uh, control undead when she levels up. Like, she can just, like, like if a vampire or something showed up, or a zombie, she'll just be able to, like, turn it to her side. Looks like there's the book. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. This is a troll in town. No, don't worry about that. We we're gonna have now all these like friendly, friendly skeletons running around. Like, and who doesn't love like just skeletons? Your Majesty, the royal treasury is nearly empty. Sovereign. Your marketplace now serves you better. Yeah, the early maps are not very like, exciting. Refreshing. But of course, that, that makes sense. They're gonna be the ones to show you how to My do things. Mission has paid off. So they're gonna be relatively simple. But there's some interesting ones. My ambition has paid off. My ambition has paid off. You won't get my gold. We are victorious, Your Majesty! The bell, book, and candle are back in their rightful place. We also found the thief who stole them from the castle, a rogue identified as Cherik of Keldurn. Unfortunately, he escaped while being returned to the castle. With a 15,000 gold piece reward on his head, I'm sure he'll think long and hard before returning to our kingdom. 
Uh, see, that, that wasn't so hard. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to continue playing. Uh, return to the main menu, please. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm just going to put a cut here to make it all nice nice and uh, easy to to upload. Yeah, you're a champ if you, if you watch this far. Like, genuinely, what is wrong with you?